Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. OMG, we're gonna use some Pentart Cracking Paste. Woo wee, it is so good. We're using Pentart Cracking Paste Primer and Pentart Cracking Paste Metallic in the color Silvery Turquoise. I just have a wood canvas there. It's not very big, five by five maybe. So I'm putting a coat of Wise Owl Snow Owl all the way around and I dried it. I put two coats. I've never used this before, so this was my first time doing it as well. Um, freshly open, we got a little bubble there that we have to pop. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, the cracking primer, uh, I was from the videos I did watch, it said to try to put it on uh, a thin coat. However, um, it was a little thick, it was kind of gluey. So trying to um, pull down what you have on your brush seemed to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, maybe it was because of the chalk paint, I'm not sure, um, but it did say to make sure you get full coverage, so I just kept dipping my brush in, so I got a full stroke in there. Um, as I said, when I went to pull my brush down, you could kind of see where it just, it wasn't coming with it. It was just dry, so I just filled in everywhere to make sure I got the product on, on every, every square inch. Um, I do know there's several different ways you can um, do your strokes with the cracking paste. They have lots of different colors. You can put different colors underneath. So there's a lot you can do, do with these. You can stencil with them. So I'm just doing basic, easy peasy. Let's see what this product can do um, before going crazy and trying all these other things because I don't know how this product was going to work. Of course, I got every tool I own out and I ended up using this little plastic spatula-like thing. And it, this part smoothed on really nice. Now I did dry the cracking paste primer uh, before applying the cracking paste metallic in the color silvery turquoise. And it's it smoothed on really nice. Uh, at first I started out smooth, but as I went, it, well, it didn't go so smooth. Um, it's chunky here and there. There's higher areas, lower areas. And I thought, you know what, let's just go with it and see what happens. Does it need to be perfectly smooth? Is it better if it's chunky or lumpy? So I just thought, I'm just gonna put it on here like I'm frosting a cake and let's just see what happens. And uh, it's pretty impressive. And so there it looks like I've got a turquoise square cake all frosted up and ready to go. I did it all the way around on the sides. Probably didn't need to, but I thought, what the heck, let's just do it. So the heat certainly enhances the cracks. It does not need to be um, dried with a heat tool. You can just let it air dry. Um, there is a part I slow it down a little and bring it up to the screen. So you can see a little bit more of the crackle, um, but it's absolutely amazing. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter if it's thick, lumpy. It depends what you wanted to do. If you wanted to decoupage over this, well, it's gonna be a little lumpy. I would go smoother. Look at that. It is so cool. Like it is big chunks of crackle. I love it. Be sure to visit our website at scrappiesrustics.com. You can get these products. If you enjoyed this video and inspired you in some way, like, share, and comment. To see more, follow me both on Facebook and YouTube and be sure to hit the notification bo button on both uh, so you'll know when new videos have been uploaded. Look at that. It is so beautiful. Oh, I'm just in love with it. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.